Hi, this is Stan Lyle with Master Math. During the lesson, you're going to come to some You Try It slides where you're asked to do problems that relate to the lesson. Hit your pause button, try the problem, and then hit the forward key to move on to the answer. I hope you have a really good time today. Humans are pretty vain. They think they're pretty darn smart. But compared to God or nature, humans are really, really not smart at all. This is what God puts together. And there's not a straight line in it. There's an infinite number of curved lines, and every one is different. This is what man puts together. And it's nothing but straight lines. And the reason's pretty clear. It's a lot easier to deal with straight lines than it is to deal with curved lines. And today we're going to deal with some straight lines. We're going to look at parallel lines and perpendicular lines. I'm pretty sure you know what parallel and perpendicular mean, but we're going to review it again real, real quickly. These two lines are parallel, and that means that they're always the same distance apart. And these two lines are perpendicular. And that means there's a 90 degree or a right angle between them. These two lines are parallel. And parallel lines are going to have the same slope. And perpendicular lines clearly don't have the same slope. As a matter of fact, their slope is going to be the negative reciprocal of each other. The slope of perpendicular lines are negative reciprocals. What does negative reciprocal mean? Well, you know what negative means. If we're starting with 2, the negative reciprocal would have a sign of minus because the 2 is positive. And what's a reciprocal? Well, the reciprocal of 2 is 1 half. A reciprocal is the same as flipping the fraction. If we start with 1 half, we just reverse our 2 and our 1, we flip them, and the reciprocal of 1 half is 2. We've got two lines here, and they are parallel. They look parallel, and we can see that they have the same slope, and we know that lines that have the same slope are parallel. Both of these equations, y equals 3x plus 2 and y equals 3x minus 5, are in slope-intercept form. And that m is the slope. It's 3 in both cases. And that b is the y-intercept. And that varies between these two lines. That's the difference between these two lines. The blue line has a y-intercept of plus 2. The red line has a y-intercept of minus 5. Well, what if we were asked to write an equation for a line that was parallel to these two, but which passed through the point 2 minus 1? We could do that. First of all, we know that the slope would be the same as both of these lines. It would have a slope of 3. So we can start out with y equals 3x plus b. Now the one thing that's going to vary between all three of these lines is the y-intercept, the b. So we have to calculate what b is going to be. And we can do that by substituting an x-value of 2 and a y-value of minus 1 into y equals 3x plus b. When I do that, I get minus 1 equals 3 times 2 plus b. I can simplify that to minus 1 equals 6 plus b. If I subtract 6 from both sides of the equation, I discover that b equals minus 7. Now I can substitute minus 7 in for the b. My slope has to be 3. And my equation becomes y equals 3x minus 7. 
And if I draw that equation, if I draw that line, it'll be parallel to these two, but it'll have a different y-intercept. It'll cross the y-axis at minus 7. What if we were asked to write an equation for a line that was perpendicular to y equals 2x plus 4 and that passed through the point 2, 4? Well, if it's perpendicular to y equals 2x plus 4, we know that its slope will be the negative reciprocal of 2. So we'll start with our standard slope-intercept form, y equals mx plus b. But for m, we'll substitute the negative reciprocal of 2, or negative 1 half. So now we know that y equals negative 1 half x plus b. And we know that this equation will work uh, for a 2 and a 4, an x value of 2 and a y value of 4. So we'll substitute 4 for y and 2 for x, and we'll get 4 equals minus 1 half 2, plus b. We can simplify that to 4 equals minus 1 plus b. I can add 1 to both sides of the equation and I'll get 5 equals b. Well now we know b and we know the slope, negative 1 half, so we know the equation for a line perpendicular to y equals 2x plus 4 that passes through the point 2, 4 is y equals minus one-half x plus five. Now you try this one. Hit the pause button, do the problem, and then hit the forward key to move on to the answer. All right, we're, we're gonna write two equations for two lines that pass through the point three, two. The first equation is going to be parallel to y equals 3x plus 6, and the second is going to be perpendicular to y equals 3x plus 6. Well, let's, let's start with the parallel one, and we'll start with y equals mx plus b. And we know what m is going to have to be for a parallel line. It'll have the same slope, a slope of 3. So we can say y equals 3x plus b. Now we know that it passes through the point 3, 2, so I can substitute 3 for x and 2 for y into y equals 3x plus b, and it would read 2 equals 3 times 3 plus b. I can simplify that to 9, excuse me, to 2 equals 9 plus b. I can subtract 9 from both sides of the equation and determine that b equals minus 7. Now I can substitute minus 7 for b, and my equation is y equals 3x minus 7. How about perpendicular? Well again, we're going to start with y equals mx plus b, and the first thing we're going to do is substitute the correct slope in place of m. The original slope was 3. A perpendicular line is going to have a slope that's the negative reciprocal of 3. The reciprocal of 3 is 1 third, and when we make that negative, our slope will be negative 1 third. y equals negative 1 third x plus b. Now again, this point is going to run through 3, 2. So I can substitute an x value of 3 and a y value of 2 into this equation, and it would read 2 equals negative 1 third times 3, plus b. I can simplify that to 2 equals minus 1 plus b, or b equals 3. Now I substitute 3 in for b in y equals minus 1 third x plus b, and my equation becomes y equals minus 1 third x plus 3. What do you think? Are these two lines parallel, perpendicular, or neither? Well, in order to determine that, the first thing we want to do is to put them in slope-intercept form. 
The second equation, or the second line, y equals 6x plus 3, is already in slope-intercept form. My slope is 6. But line number 1 is in some non-standard format, so we need to convert it to slope-intercept form. I want to isolate the y. I want to get rid of that 6. So I'm going to divide both sides of the equation by 6. When I do that, I get y equals 5 minus 1 sixth x. Now I'm going to manipulate that just to put it in standard y equals mx plus b form. And it would read y equals minus 1 sixth x plus 5. Line number 2 has a slope of 6. Line number 1 has a slope of minus 1 sixth. Minus 1 sixth is the negative reciprocal of 6. So these two lines are perpendicular. Hit your pause button, try the problem, and then hit the forward key to move on to my answer. Well, apparently two of these lines are perpendicular. And we know that if lines are perpendicular, their slopes are the negative reciprocal of each other. So we need to figure out what the slopes of all these lines are, and I think the easiest thing to do to accomplish that is to put them all into slope-intercept form. The yellow equation is already in slope-intercept form. We can see that the slope of this line is 3. But the other two aren't. They're in non-standard form. So we'll start with x equals 12 minus 3y. And I want to get that 12 to the other side of the equation, so I isolate my y. So it, I can do that by subtracting 12 from both sides, and I now have x minus 12 equals minus 3 x, 3y. I need to get rid of that minus 3, so I'm going to divide both sides of the equation by minus 3. And when I do that, I get minus 1 third x plus 4 equals y. I'm going to turn that around so it's a more standard slope-intercept form, and it reads y equals minus one-third x plus four. And I can see that my slope is minus one-third. Minus one-third is the negative reciprocal of the yellow equation slope of three. So I know that these two lines are perpendicular. How about the third line? Six x equals two y plus four. Well, again, I want to convert it to slope-intercept form. I'm going to subtract 4 from both sides of the equation. Then I'm going to divide both sides of the equation by 2 so that it reads 3x minus 2 equals y. Or, turn that around, it's y equals 3x minus 2. In this case, my slope is 3. So this line is parallel to the yellow line, y equals 3x plus 8. That's our lesson on parallel and perpendicular lines. Now it's time to test your skills. Go to www.mastermath.info and you'll find worksheets and quizzes on parallel and perpendicular lines. I hope you learned a lot, I hope you had a good time, and I hope we see you again real soon.